Hi there, Tad Hargrave from marketingforhippies.com out for a walk. I was just talking with uh, Betty, who's the new coordinator of our Marketing for Hippies Facebook group, which we're just kind of reinvigorating. There have been a lot of people sitting there, nothing happening. And we talked about something, I wanted to share this. So when people start out in business, particularly healing, life coaching, but almost any field, there's the zeal of the newly converted. Why? Because everything's so simplistic. Yeah, you would say it's just simple, but actually it's simplistic. And we're full of conviction and strong beliefs and cut and dry lines and convinced how easy it is. Oh, you have this problem? Well, I learned this protocol and it will absolutely solve it for you because it solved it for so many people. And isn't it amazing and lucky that you met me? And here's the, uh, the terrible combination that happens. You have a lot of people who are desperate and hungry. They're struggling with a problem and oh man, it hurts really bad and they have lost hope. And then they come across somebody who says, hey, it's easy to solve your problem. No problem at all. We can nail this. And because they're desperate, they fall for it. And of course, this leads to a lot of heartbreak and disappointment because life is usually a little more complex than this. Yeah. So very troubling. And this leads to less trust in the marketplace. People start to say, oh, you can't trust those snake oil salespeople, which is also a terrible thing to say because snake oil is actually very healthy for you. Yeah, but you, you start to uh, mistrust the entire scene, the entire industry. And then you've got the older people who've been in business longer, who've been doing their work longer, who are full of doubts and uncertainties because now they know what they... Now they know what they... Um, what they don't know. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. And so they're full of, well, it depends. And that's really circumstantial. And maybes. And no promises. And let's see what we can do. But that's not as compelling, is it? It's not as sexy as a guarantee. But that approach, A, those older ones with more experience usually get better results than the younger ones full of bravado and vim and vinegar. So they get better results, number one. But here's a result they don't get. They don't cause a rupture of trust in the marketplace. And that's a big deal. Oh, I gotta show you this. Oh, this is real pretty right here. Yeah. They don't they don't uh they don't damage the river of trust and goodwill that's flowing. They don't erect dams, they don't poison it. And so that's good for the marketplace, which is what feeds everyone. You know, this river feeds this whole ecosystem. And if we damage this river, everything in this community will suffer. All the animals, all the plants, you know, all the humans, we all suffer from it. We don't want to poison the well that we drink from. And that's what so often these younger folks are doing. Again, please hear me, not young in years, you know what I'm saying. People who are just fresh to the work, full of bravado. And the ones who are perhaps greater geniuses and more effective, they may not do as well in their business, but the marketplace does better. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can, you can overhunt an area and you can kill all the deer. And you personally will do better, but the ecosystem will do worse. And here's what I'm going to say. If you ever have to choose between an approach that will work out for you, but it will damage the marketplace, where you will do worse, but the marketplace will do better, you choose that you do a little worse and the marketplace does better. That the marketplace in its uh, goodwill and trust survives that's what feeds the next generation in this system that we have now anyways yeah if the goodwill is poisoned that's the end of everything because that goodwill between people that's the tree of life right in the middle of any community and if you stick a sword under that tree and you kill that tree because you killed the soil underneath it everybody starves so this is the trouble I think when we're young in our businesses, we can feel a little entitled to personal success and damn the consequences. But what's really being damned 
is those to come who do the same thing you do who will then say to this next generation I would trust you you see but I've been burned by a lot of people who did what you did including your teacher they burned me too so if you have to choose choose the community choose the marketplace choose the tree of life over your own initial short-term well-being blessedly we don't have to choose but if you have to the choice is clear thanks so much everybody uh, please give this video a like subscribe if you'd like to you can visit me marketingforhippies.com and on instagram at marketingforhippies